So if you look at the end of this particular game here, in this play, and uh, obviously we'll take that down to get the exacts on this. 26-21, 145 left, okay? 26-21, 145 left. And remember, the Eagles were going to score because he fumbles the yep. rock uh, after getting up. He was going to go score completely different game. If he scores oh, yeah. there after a fumble, instead he fumbles, ball comes back the other way. 145 left, 26-21. Philadelphia Eagles have proven that they can move the ball as of this particular time mm -hmm. period. At home, could be a monumental staple. Philadelphia Eagles adversity, we still get a win when we shouldn't have probably got one because of how the game went. Yeah. Run the play. Taylor Heineke, instead of running the ball and running some more clock, they were going to throw it, maybe put a little death in this thing on third down. He kneels, and then Brandon Graham hits <laughs> oh, him late. Boy. And the White Hat says 15 yards. Taylor Heineke says, thank you. First down. They only have one timeout. Less than a minute 40 on the clock. This is over. Now, if we were to watch this, we would uh, immediately think to ourselves, with the game on the line for a team to win, this call can't be how – a game is decided, yeah. but you go back. Keep go back to the uh, uh, like the side view of that thing, the slow motion one there. But if you look at this, boom, right here. So if you look at this, go ahead and press play. As soon as his knee goes, a pause. Look how far away dude is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brandon Graham is very far away from Heineke. Now, this is an awkward-looking kneel down. He could have slid. He could have done something else. It's a weird thing for Heineke to do at the time he was trying to do. He's trying to stay inbounds, doesn't want to throw it away, mm -hmm. wants the clock to keep moving or them to spend a timeout. But the way he went about taking a knee, certainly awkward. We'll talk to him in about 50 minutes, and we will certainly ask him about why this particular knee of choice and why this is how he decided to want down, uh, go down as opposed to any other way. But Brandon Graham, Pretty far away. I mean, pretty, pretty far, pretty far away at this point. Press play. One, two, three, four. I mean, yeah. The Reddick one was fine too. Like, so, see, he's like six yards away. Yeah. Whenever Heineke's knee gets down to where he was standing, and the refs, I don't think they blew a whistle as fast as they maybe could have because I think of how awkward his knee uh -huh. went down. So I don't think, like, the call can be a call that wins a game, just like what happened when the Colts and the Chiefs played and uh, Chris Jones said something rude to Matt Ryan <laughs> right, on the last drive in the fourth quarter, and it was uh, 15 yards, first down, Colts go down, score, win, beat the fucking Chiefs. Like, we thought that was egregious, even though we were on the, I was on the positive side of that. Thought that can't have that win the game. Mm -mm. This wins the game for yeah. the commander. So a lot of people are going to be upset about that. But also, he's like six yards away whenever the knee goes down. Do you think Brandon Graham just didn't expect this to be the kneel? Do you think he was confused by what was going on? What do you think, AQ? Yeah, defensive players are taught to play to the whistle. There was a late whistle, if a whistle at all, before that. And I think the other thing that's interesting, I didn't, I didn't even realize yeah. this, but if Graham doesn't hit him, does he fall this way and now it's on Reddick? They're gonna they're gonna call that or is that? I don't think. No, I think he right. was close. He was enough. fine. Yeah. I think he was, he was close fine. enough. Yeah, I think so. So they're saying late hit on that. Oh uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, by the letter of the law, yes, that is, you know, because he gives himself up. But also, like, it's weird for Brandon Graham. You know, he's coming in and he gives himself up. I he, I don't think he's looking at Hassan Reddick like, oh, he's got him down. Like he's still, you know, if he he's looking at the quarterback, so he's assuming, hey, yeah, he gave himself up, but I still have to go in and touch him. You know, and like. It's it's like kind of one of those. I don't think you have to touch him if he gives himself up. If, if a guy takes a knee, I don't think you have to touch him. But I think it was such a weird. Go back to it uh, again. It was such a weird way of going down. Like I don't think Graham was expecting Taylor Heineke just to fall in this particular fashion. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can press play. Like it's he makes a cut. Uh, no, I'm down. Like it's a weird jump down thing. Clearly giving himself up, right. though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if he, if, he goes, if he goes down to the ground there and doesn't stay in this double knee position, correct, well, and his head's down, you still would have to touch him down, would you not? No, I think it's if you give yourself up, take a knee, I think, right? Because yeah, he takes a knee. Yeah, That's what I'm whistle. saying, but I'm saying, like, if you're Brandon Graham. He takes see, a knee. I think that is why it's such a big thing because – that doesn't look like a knee to me. A knee is what you see when a quarterback. Exactly. Goes down. It's a weird fucking and like yeah. kickoffs people used to do it for touchbacks like the way you would uh -huh. get the way he went about doing this. Yeah. Is one of because if he slides, you have to touch him, right? Yeah. Yes. Slide, you have to touch him. Yeah. Uh no. Yeah, well, no. But back. if he fall like what I'm saying, like if his shoulder goes to the ground here and he falls head first, not feet first, you would have to touch him down. 
All right, let's go back to the beginning. Let's run this thing back a little bit again. Well, and even with that. Go all the way back to the beginning. You can go all the way back to the beginning. That's awkward, too, because remember, they lost the Packers game because he gave himself up before running the ball in. Good play. Clearly, gave I mean, he gives weird. himself up for yeah. sure. I mean, it is it is such an interesting thing. I think the timing of it is what makes everybody upset about it. I can't believe that's how they win the game. That is how they win the game. But Brandon Graham, who's obviously in the heat of the moment here, mm -hmm. yeah. third down, minute something left, you're down five, got to get a stop. Great football player. We're not saying anything about it. But there's also, like if you're a Commanders fan, you're saying he was six yards away whenever the guy's – I mean, six, six yards is a long time. That, yeah. That's a – that's a lot of time to potentially stop. Heineke gives a good sell. We'll talk to Taylor in about, uh, what is that, 45 minutes or so yep. to see his take on it. Because as soon as he goes down, he goes, okay, thank you so much. That's the first down. See you later. Keep it moving. That guy's a leader. That guy's a winner. Yeah. He's chained up and iced out on the plane after oh, that. That's still, that's your, like, that's bullshit. The game ends that way. It's it just is. bullshit. It's tough. You can't throw a flag. I mean, that one's not as Cannot. bad as the face mask. Yeah, the face mask is one that people are talking about. It needs to be a reviewable call. Yes. Uh, because they're thinking that sports books are, are cooking the books with these refs mm -hmm. for these calls. Because face mask, obviously, 15 yards, big deal. I mean, it's a huge call at the timing in which it was called. But that is becoming the conversation now with a lot of people online because the refs have had a rough week. This week was rough for the refs. Yeah, might we be their worst. I think so. I honestly believe so. Fourth quarter, you know, whenever you're – oh, this is tough, too, because there's a clear – there's a clear grab. Yeah, that's so obvious. So you should be able to challenge that, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you know, the biggest thing for us was trying to keep their offense off the field. And, you know, how to do that was run the ball and convert third downs, which we did a great job of. So, um, yeah, it was a full team effort last night. And, yeah, on that, on that last play, you know, we called it, we just called Sticky. And it was like, hey, if Terry's open, give it to him. If not, just take a sack. So in, in my mind, I was like, this this guy better be wide, wide the hell open for me to throw it to him if I'm just taking the sack. So, you know, I took a knee there and I saw Reddit coming in. I was like, oh, this might be a little too close. But then I saw Graham coming in and I was like, please hit me. And sure enough, he did. He got the flag. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good little deal. Uh, before your question, AJ, let's run that clip because we, yeah. we broke this down earlier because obviously the refs are going to get attacked for this because this, this won the game for you guys. He is, if you run this, he, whenever you take a knee, stop it when he takes a knee. Boom. He's six yards away from here. We did the calibration for it, actually. Now, that was a weird fucking knee. Taylor, what was, what was, <laughs> what, why was that the, why was that the knee of choice? Just giving yourself up, double knee, let's go ahead and sprawl on this ground as fast as possible? Exactly. I wasn't really thinking of how I was going to take a knee. I just knew I was going to get on the ground. So that's in your head. You're running and you're like, all right, I got to get down here. And you're just first react. Let me fucking jump down on yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah. It's amazing because I think you baffled Graham. Like, I yeah, think it yeah. was like a, a little bit of a baffling. Did the whistle come quick, you think? Or did, I don't remember how quick the whistle was. Was the whistle there? Well, I remember I was on the ground for a good bit. And, you know, he came in came in hot and got me. And right when he hit me, I looked at the ref. I was like, yo, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I saw him reach towards Is that something? So. Got AJ. Taylor, sorry. Is that something you guys practice? Do you actually practice a play like that? I, I would imagine you, you would want to. Hey, if Terry's open, I'm going to give it to him. If not, i got to get down and take a sack. I guess it's much more safe for the team to go down and not sit there and just absorb three guys hitting you and worry that they might strip the ball from you. Is it something you guys work on? No, it's not. You know, right before that play, uh, Scott was in the, in the on the headset just saying, hey, uh, we're going to call this play. If Terry's open, throw it to him. If not, just take a sack. And I was like, all right. So um, he wasn't open. He wasn't open like I wanted him to be open. So I kind of tried to waste a little bit more time off the clock by, you know, just scrambling a little bit and then just getting down. So, again, you know, it's they made a little mistake and. You know, we're kind of happy they did it. Yeah, I think, like, refs, obviously, everybody, you, you talk to former players and fans are like, got to let them play. But also, like, there were six yards from when you gave mm – -hmm. You gave yourself up in a weird fa – I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I would do either. I don't In that situation, I don't know what I would do, so I can't judge you. But you took a knee, clearly. He was far – I think he just – competitive moment hit you. But I think watching it, the ref had to call it. I think that's how it was. You guys win a game, make a great play, and put a bow on an incredible Monday night football.